So, um, gentlemen, we've been on a bit of a break, so we're going to do scales to get ourselves back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lip trails. Okay. Uh, where did we leave off? It was someplace in Lissif, I'm guessing. But Sasuke for Torah, was that what it was? That's right. Okay. So what I'd like to do is the brachos of the Haftorah, uh, because you know very often people find themselves doing those brachos. Uh, the brachos for Haftorah can be found in your standard art scroll sitter on page 446. Okay, so something important to know about the Haftorah brachos is that the first bracha that you make with the traps of the Haftorah. So if you're familiar with the Haftorah trap, all you've got to do is just apply those to the brachos. Most Sidurim and you know, Gabbai booklets and so on print the bracha with the Haftorah trap, so you'll be okay there. Um, and then the brachos after the Haftorah are you know, just a nusa. So let me first do that Haftorah bracha with the uh, trap, and then we'll do the uh, the uh, the brachos after. Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, I'm okay. Let me just rewind. We can pick up from that. That's good. Okay, you're on. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to begin with the Haftorah brachos, and once again, those Haftorah brachos are done with the trups, the cantillation of the Haftorah. And the way that would be done is Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bochar Benevim Tovim Mirat Zav and Ibrahim Hanem Arim Bemes Baruch Atah Adonai Habofer Batorah Uvim Moshe Avdo Uvim Yisrael Amo Uvim Nebiei Hayamez Vot Tzedek you know, doing this, I just had an idea. Stuart, what we should do is the trups for both the uh, regular laning and for the Haftorah laning. Oh, that's and we should include that in recordings, which are going to be coming soon. I, I'm <laughs> telling you, we're going to get there. Uh, apparently, a lot of you have been badgering Stuart. It's not his fault. He's a super nice guy on top of everything. It's, it's really it's my responsibility and one of the uh, blessings and challenges of owning your own business is that you don't always um, own your own time, but you've got to like follow the trends, and right now it's sort of like convention season in the Jewish world, so that keeps me busy. But I did say that by the end of this week, we're going to have the first of our recordings, and I will make sure that before we end the series, we include uh, both the laning and the Haftorah traps. Um, just a quick word about uh, laning, both Haftorah and regular laning. It is a hoop. Like, it's really, really enjoyable to, to lane, to learn how to lane. And it's not all that difficult because most of the truck is fairly repetitive. That is, there aren't that many simonim, there are not many cantillation marks that are part of the regular rep repertoires. Like, Kadma Ba'azla, Munakas Nachta, Zakev Katon, Rivi'i. Uh, you know, and then there are some that are like a little bit more funky, and, you know, Fishak uh, Dola. And it's Yishak Tana and Dola, Zakeif, and so on and so forth, but, or Gir Shayim. But uh, the, the, the typical ones are fairly repetitive, fairly easy to get, and that will allow you to get into the rhythm. So once you get those basic ones, you'll have the sense of like accomplishment. It's like, again, I still have Zion and Moscow, but um, the, uh, the chords for Sweet Home Alabama are very, very easy. So if you're first learning how to play guitar, the first thing you learn is the Sweet Home Alabama, because it's basically three easy chords. And then once you do that, you have a sense of accomplishment, like, wow, I can play guitar. So in a similar way, I recommend using that as a method. If you want to learn how to lay the Torah, how to lay for the Torah, try to get those more basic ones. And uh, once you have that, you feel like you have the leg up, and um, it'll be that much easier to get the rest. Also, uh, very worthwhile, you probably know a lot of the lane already, because you hear it so often. Right. If you think about it, you're hearing, you know, for, for a normal, uh, normal for a uh, hard-working, going person, you're hearing up until Shani of every Parsha four times every year. Now, you know, I see some of you in the crowd are a little bit over 40, possibly, right? So, but even if you weren't over 40, you know, do the math from the time of your bar mitzvah until, you know, four times a year, you're starting to hear these traps, so you're already pretty familiar with them. There's no feeling like... You know, being there on a Monday or a Thursday, and they look around and like, Bakare, and you put your arm up like, 
<laughs> right here. It's almost like you know Peyton Manning striding off the field last night. That like, yes, I can do it. Okay, so uh, just a, a quick um, word uh, of uh, recommendation, a uh, sponsor message for learning how to lane at least up until Shaney and interrupts with that Torah. Very useful. Okay, that said, let's go on with the brachos after the Torah. Second paragraph on 446. Baru Hatadona Yeloheinu Melacholo Matsur Kholola Mim Tadik Mekohadoros Hael Hanemon Homer Vyose Hamidaber Mikayem Shekol de Barov Emes Vodzedek Nemon Atahu Adona Yeloheinu Vinemonim de Borecho Vidaborechod Mid Borecho Ochor Lo Yoshu Brekom Ki el melchem on verachem on oto, baruch atadunoi, hoyohanem on bechol devarov. Now you noticed that I paused at baruch atashem. Very important. This is one of those things you learn over time. If you don't pause, you end up real real wording everybody that's saying baruch hu v'rashmo. So make sure to pause there. Rachem al tion ki beis hayenu, bilalu vas nefesh toshi avim herov v'yamenu, baruch atadunoi. Misameatzion vivoneho, Samcheinu alino yohenu velio hanavi adecho, Uvimapus besavi mishihecho, Vimhero yavo viagil livenu, Alkisolo yechev zor, Velo yinhalu orachirim et kivodo, Kibeshem kachachan mishpato lo, Shelo yichbenero leolam boed, Baruchat adunoi, Vagain david. It's going to happen that some of you are going to be called up on a Cholomoid, um, uh, where a Cholomoid Shabbos, or on a Yontif, in which case you would do, uh, you would add the Al Torah Baal Vadov and Amnim Yom Shabbos Hazeh. So let me uh, share with you how you would do that. Al Torah Baal Vadov Hanamim Vayom, and if it's Shabbos, you can put Hashabos Hazeh Vayom. Hagamatos has a Shenasat the law, no other no yellow hang no, Lake to Shah, Limnuka, Lissason, Lissin Call, Lichabod, Ulissifares, Alako, Adano Hino, and Akumodim, Mubarkim, Osa, Yis Barash and Pabifiko Pai, Tavi Leoboed, Baruch Hatadonoi, Mikadesh, Hashabot, the Israel, the Hasmani. Okay, so that is Kriya Satara. Now we're up to Musaf. Uh, first, in terms of where to place yourself, most uh, congregations have the Shliach Tzibur begin Musaf at the Bima. Uh, so unless otherwise told, assume that you're going to be, begin the Kumporkan standing at the Bima. Uh, it's important before you get up to know whether you're doing Birch uh, Hashanah or not. So if you're asked to dive in Musaf, and you're prepared to do Musaf, but not prepared to do Birchus HaPodesh, you probably want to think twice. So always be aware when, uh, when Shabbos or Chodesh, or Shabbos or Barfim is. Uh, additionally, some congregations have the minig that either the Rav or a designated Hazan does the Birchus HaPodesh. So if you're asked to dive in, and it is uh, one of those months where you're being a Barfim HaPodesh, you should find out what their meaning is. Uh, a few other points to be aware of when it comes to Birchus HaKodesh. First, make sure you know which days Rosh Hodesh is. Uh, it gets very awkward to be like heckled up there. So make sure you know, you know, is it uh, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever it may be. Um, also, there are different minhagim as to when the Shliach Tzibur takes the Sefer Torah, right? Some, I've seen it done at the very beginning of Yehi Ratzel that already at the very beginning of the Hiro Tzimol Panecha, the Shlech Tzibur takes the Sefer Torah and holds it all the way through the entire Birch Sefer Kodesh. 
Um, some, I think the mo most common practice is to have the Shlech Tzibur pick it up after the Molot is announced or when the Molot is being announced, which is before Misha Asa Nisa. Uh, so whatever it may be, find out what their meaning is. If you're doing Mirka Soda, find out when it is that you should uh, take the Sefer Torah. One final detail, also associated with Birchas HaKodesh, is that there are various minhagim as to whether or not you do Abba Rachman on the weeks that you do Birchas HaKodesh. So typically, when you're Mubarak the Kodesh, you don't say Abba Rachman. Now, most, the minhag in most congregations is that uh, during Svira, even when you say Birchas HaKodesh, you still say Abba Rachman, and the reason for that is because, as you may know, the uh, the uh, massacres of the Crusades took place basically during that time of Sphira, from after Pesach until Shuas. So to remember that tragic time, we still say Abba Rachman. In addition, some have the minute to say Abba Rachman when Chodesh Av is being benched. So you should just be aware of whether or not the Tzibur is going to be saying Abba Rachman if you're being regarded to Chodesh. So again, before you go up there from Musaf, make sure you know, A, if it's uh, in one of those Shabbos is when you're going to do Birkus Kodesh. If it is one, find out when the days of Rosh Kodesh are. Find out when they take the Sefer Torah. And then find out if you're doing Abu Rahman or not afterwards. Okay? Any questions about that? And the Abu Rahman is actually independent of uh, Shabbos and Korachim. In some days we say it, in some days we don't. Right, that is true. That is true, right. Um, although we almost always say it. Uh, so you, you can see like the art school has and, and the, there are almost always say it. I think during the month of Nisan, we don't say it. There's, there's certain festive times. Uh, if it's the Shabbos between Yom Kippur and Sukkot, I don't think we say it. So, you know, there are exceptions. But, yeah, certainly could die fine. So thanks for pointing that out. Uh, yes. When so you have two days of Rosh Chodesh, um, when do you say Ulamah Rosh Chodesh? Ulamah Rosh Chodesh? Only when it's also the Shabbos, or sometimes when it's just the same yeah. two days? Okay. So, so I believe... That first, you can always get away with not saying Lamaha Rosso. Okay. You don't have to say it. Uh, I believe the, the practice when you do say Lamaha Rosso is when it's Shabbos and another day. So when it's Shabbos and Sunday, you say, Beyond my Shabbos Kodesh, Lamaha Rosso, Beyond Harishon. I'm not even sure why that is. I mean, maybe it's like sort of creating a distinction, like mm -hmm. a buffer between Shabbos and the week. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the most common practice is not to say Lamaha Rosso when Shabbos is not involved. Um, but certainly you can get away with not saying it. Uh, I have seen people say the Maharasso even when it's two weekdays. You know, I, 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 I don't know that that's it's proper, not but it's not the kind of thing that people get too bent out of shape with. It's not like, you know, missing a sound or landing. That's, that's really a no no. Uh, okay. So, uh, going back to the down. Just a, a handy tip related to all these things I just said. Uh, there is a, an Ezra's called Torah Luach that's published every year that has all the details of what it is that's done at every dominant. So exactly what is said, what isn't said, what the Kriya Torah is, what the various Menhagim are, like there are places when Sephardim start in the Haftorah or Ashkenazim start, where they continue. It's about uh, 10, 15 bucks, and probably not a bad investment. If you're somebody who wants to be in the know, you know, pick it up at the beginning of the year, throw it in your college bag, and you have all the inside tips. Uh, I personally am somebody who's horribly forgetful. Um, my wife, God bless her soul, just this past week after I lost my wallet again, sorry, um, she bought me tiles. I don't know if you've seen these things. They're like really incredible. These like little Bluetooth controlled devices and uh, you can connect them to all the things that you lose and then you can find them wherever they may be. So she got me four tiles. I've got one on my uh, laptop and one on my phone and one on my wallet and my keys and whatever. Right, so I need tiles like in my sitter to remind me like, all the things I have to add. Or, the, the solution for the tile, before there was the tile, was this Esther's Torah Lua. So it's uh, just another quick sponsorship and unsponsored sponsor message for the Esther's Torah Lua. With that, let's begin Yakum Purkan. So you begin with a strong beginning. Yakum Purkan, Amin Shemayo. Some people who like to hot dog, do the entire Mishavera Um Like, so if somebody you know, really likes to do the singing, the most common place to start is V'chol Misha Oskim Mitzorchei Tzibor Ben Muna. V'chol Misha Oskim Mitzorchei Tzibor Ben Muna HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yishalem Sharam 
Yasir mehem kolakalo, vir po le kogufom, vi islach le kolabonom, vi islach per kobe atzoho, bechoma se yidenem, im kol Yisrael achem, vinomar omen. Now, with the Yehi Ratzon, or the Birs of Chodesh, the Yehi Ratzon Birs of Chodesh, Many, many people do it straight through. I think it's like fairly common. Yes? The Mishabara. That's not, everyone says the Mishabara first, and then the Bible says it. Yeah. Yeah, I still believe. I've never in my entire life gotten through <laughs> the Mishabara before the thousands. Yeah, I probably saw it really well. You know what? It's, it, there's a few parts of Dobbing that are like those Aramaic curveballs to like just throw you off. So the, the two Yakum Korkans are in Aramaic. Which yeah, is same as far as I get, I never really saw any of the Mishabura. Yeah, I don't know. Right. Maybe they're just not comfortable with all that <laughs> silence. You know? Okay. It's like you gotta be comfortable in the pocket. You know, experience Haza, which you want to be. Give it its time. You know, let people say Mishabura. It's okay. If you got good defense, like you you have that fun. Uh, yeah, but it certainly is something that people would say. Okay. In terms of Yihirato, like I said, uh, the Bears of Hodesh, very, very common for Chazanam to say that entire piece. Uh, very common for Chazanam to sing that entire piece. I personally use the Karbach Musuf for uh, the Yiratzim, which is extraordinarily beautiful. It's on a uh, Yehuda Green album, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, and also there's a Karbach Misha Asa, which is absolutely stunning. But what I'm going to do it is, uh, I'll do it just in regular Nusuf, because in fact, you can do all of this in Nusuf. Even though many people sing every individual component, but it's also fine to, to just do it in this um, Now, uh, I usually start fairly, even if I'm just doing this one, I start uh, feel fairly high up, but I begin at a lower tone, and then as people are dying down, I become high. <laughs> Kaim shall be rocha, Kaim shall parnosa, Kaim shall kibutz atzamos, Kaim shechem yerashmai vigiratzchei, Kaim shechem bohem bushok limo, Kaim shall osher vechavod, Kaim shetehei bonu, Abbas Torah virat shamayim. Kaim sheimalu mishalos libenu letova amen seva. At this point, the Gabbai is going to announce uh, the molad. Uh, sometimes he does it in Yiddish. I, I don't know why it's so like it's a it's a Gabbai sort of secret society thing that they do in Yiddish. You come places where nobody understands Yiddish. Okay, we don't judge. Only Hashem judges. Uh, and then you would typically take the Sefer Torah uh, and say, Misha Asa. Misha Asa Nisim Abo Seyu Vigo Alos Ome Abus Lecherus Hu Yigalos Onu Bekoro Vikabetz Nidokenu Merba Kankos Oretz Kaverim Ko Yisrael Vinomar Amen Oh, really? Oh, interesting. That's the, oh, in the Hebrew. Interesting, yeah. in all Hebrew. Okay. That's for Rabbeinu Arthur. Uh, Rabbeinu Arthur's scroll. We have to ask him. So we have to go on Twitter. Well, that's the But this is the English one. It's the big English one. Is that? Yeah, well, unfortunately, there's no, like, I don't know of uh, the uh, Aleppo Codex. Or the mm -hmm. center. So, as of now, I guess you know you go with whatever one you have. Um, and incidentally, in general, that's a, a fairly safe um, bet. Whenever I'm in a shul, I always use the Hazen sitter. Like I never take my own um, because I, I don't know like what funky things they might put in their Hazen sitter. And I was like different. 
congregations will have different uh, preferences. Sometimes they'll put in that you should uh, start at a certain place, or you should wait for a certain person, or you should sing certain things. So it's just could I use their sitter. Uh, in Eretz Yisrael, certainly there are small variances, I think we talked before, between the notes of, of American Ashkenazi Jew, or, or Chutzlar, it's Ashkenazi Jews, and Eretz Yisrael Ashkenazi Jews. So always just a, a good practice. Best practices of the Chazin is to use whatever sitter is up there. So if I was up there and I couldn't say Yimau Hashem, I would just follow the sitter that's up there and I'd say Shei Yimau. Okay. Um, Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh Adar Aleph Yeh B'yom HaShlish Yu B'yom HaRivi HaBoleinu V'Alko Yisrael L'Tovo And then the, the Tzibur will say Yechad Shreyu and you repeat after them Yechad Shreyu V'Akadosh Baruch Hu Aleinu V'Alko Amo Beis Yisrael L'Chaim U'L'Shalom L'Sosor U'L'Simcha Lishua l'nechama v'no ma'ar amen. At this point, as I said, typically if you've done Birkin Sakhodesh, you're not going to say Avarachman, although on Kippur Shabbos you would say Avarachman. And uh, I will uh, begin with the end of Avarachman on page 456. V'yomer of Psalms of Har Lo shachat zakat anovim v'yomer yodim b'goyim olei gibios mochat rosh al eret rabo minachal b'aderet yishteh al kein yorim rosh ashrei yoshvei v'secho hod yalu koselo Now, you're not going to take the Torah until after you finish ashrei, so don't, don't make that rookie mistake. Uh, make sure you finish Ashrei, and then after that, you'll take the Sefer Torah from the person who did uh, Haga. So Ashrei uh, ends on page 458. Then you take the Sefer Torah. Ya hallelujah, shame Adonai, Kiniska. The most common nusach, especially in the young Israel's, hold on the reds with shamayim, by your red hair and the ammo, tila lecho hasidav, leave me Israel am kirovo, hallelujah, mizmor le david. And then the Tibur says, you don't have to say it a lot, but they sort of say it. And this is where you need. And they join in. And then you go out again. I arky dame come away, Gil. Live on the old Missy Yog, come over and bring him. They join in. Call other noy, Hotte Bajo Sage. Call other noy, Yoko Midbar. Yoko other noy, Midbar Kodesh. Call other noy, you call the Ayolos. And you go loud. I am a Sophia Rose. Uve, Hobo, Kulo America, Bob. They join in. I don't know, Mamma Boyosh. The best timing is that you should be at the point where you can now hand the Sefer Torah over to the person who's going to put it into the Aaron. So as the Sefer Torah is being put into the Aaron, you can say, and, and then as typically, as he takes it and sort of goes in, you say out loud, and then you would end off with the eight time he that were mostly familiar with
after Chodesh Shemini to Kedem, before Yiskadal. Some congregations, they'll wait until after Kaddish Tuskabal, after Musaf, and that's when the rabbi will speak. Uh, you can certainly ask the gabbai when you're asked to the Musaf what the minute is. Sometimes they'll tell you. Otherwise, it's pretty easy to find out because when you finish Chaydesh uh, Shemini you're typically going to be, you know, up at the uh, the uh, Aro together with the person who's putting the sacred Torah back inside. And as you're about to go down, either everybody's still going to be standing because they're about to begin Musaf, or everybody's going to be sitting down, and the rabbi's going to be, you know, straightening his tie and moving around his gender. So, you'll have a clear indication, uh, and uh, you know, and then you'll just stand up and begin when you just got down. I just heard a joke this week, I can't help myself. What are the four most favorite words in Judaism? Chadesh, Yameinu, Kikedem, Yizkada. So now, the Chadesh before Shemad Asriya Moshev is, Yizkada, Yizkada, Shemei Rabo. And with that, the Tibor begins most of Shmon Ezra. Now, uh, as we discussed back at, at, at Shafras, the beginning of Shmon Ezra, which the Hazar uh, Sashat, for both Shafras and Mosef, is identical. The only difference is going to be as you're about to begin Kedusha, when you say Baruch HaTashem, HaMesim, there's a slight variation. At that point, after Muslim, you do, you have Muslim Kedusha. After Kedusha, the tone goes completely different, and it becomes very much the Musaf tone. So just so that you should be aware, don't expect that you have to do a Musaf tone when you begin Shemad Esrei. Some people make that mistake. It's actually a mistake in Nusaf. The correct Nusaf is to do the same Nusaf as Shafrit up until Kedusha, and after Kedusha, you switch into that more like, you know, flat, sharp, uh, the minor Musaf tone. Okay. So what is the uh, what is that Musaf sound like? Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohei Avoseinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Ho'el Hagadol Yibor Banara El El Yon Gomeil Chasadim Tovim Vikonei Akol Vizocher Chasdei Avos Uh, 
Uh, typically, if people sing, they sing the Mokomo stanza and uh, it, and or the Huelokainu. The most common, obviously, is Huelokainu. Sometimes we do Mokomo and Huelokainu. Uh, a little tip that's very musical, if you want to try it, there is a tune for Borot Kelalion, which is very popular. Uh, my wife calls it the dirge. I don't know why, I think it's nice, but it goes Borot Kelalion, Hacher Nasan Menucha. That tune goes perfectly with the entire Misuk of Mosul Kedusha. So if you begin with Na Mitzucha, Binak Tishicha, and then Kiva Domaleyom. So that's for you to, you know, on your own time, uh, have some fun with it. Just a, a, a little bonus tip for you. Otherwise, I'll just do Misuk, uh, except for I'll give you uh, two very useful tunes to know. One for Mkomo and Huelokeno, and one just for Huelokeno. Uh, the Kedusha goes like this. Na ritzacha v'nagedishacha Kisoda siyach Sarfei kodesh Hamagdishim shimcha bakodesh Kakosu v'yan nivyecha V'karo zel zevi omar So again, you turn to the left, turn to the right, and then up in front of you. Zel zevi omar and then as we did with Chakras Kedusha, you're going to say together with everybody else, Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tevos, Lavaretz Kivodo. So you wouldn't begin from Kadosh, you would say that together with the Sibur and you would begin with Kivodo. Kivodo, Male Olam, Misharisa, Misho Ali, Mazdev Ozeh, Aye, Mekom Kivodo. And then again, the Tibur will say, Baruch Kvodanayim Kamo, you'll say that with them, and you begin with, Mi Mekomo, Hu Yifen, Birachamim, Biyachon, Am, Yachadim, Shimo, Erev Avuk, Erev Yom, Tamim, Ha'amayim Yavo, Shema Omerim, I'm going to do this all in Nusuk, and then I'll continue through the tunes. And then you would say together with everybody else, Shema Yisrael, and then you would know, And then you would begin, Hu Eloheinu, Hu Avinu, Hu Malkeinu, Hu Moshieinu, Fihu Yashminu Brachamov, Sheni Slenei Kochoi, Lios Lochem Lelohim, Ani Adonai Eloheichem. And here, even though up until now it's from responsive, but here you go directly into um divrei kachacha kasuvle mor. So you would say um divrei kachacha kasuvle mor. That's your line, just your line. And then all together, yivlo chadonai lo lama lo hayetzion lidor vador hallelujah. Now the way to do yivlo is to begin with everybody, but to sort of hold your notes so that you're ending after everybody else has been done. So you begin together with everybody else, but then you do it slowly, and you go, Himloch Adonai Le'olam Elohai Yitzion Lidor Vador Hallelujah And then you go on to Lidor Vador. Now, let me give you uh, some tunes. There's a Chabad tune. It's very lively. It's a lot of fun. And if you have an adoption at a Chabad uh, minion, you can be guaranteed like 9,999,994 of the times that you're in those out of nine million, if uh, you're 10 million, 10 million, if you are in a bad this, uh, shul, this is what they're gonna do for who will It goes like this. Who will Yes, the Chabad Nusach, they do have slightly different words. There's also one thing, though, 
uh, typically in a, in a Chazan Shul, what the Chazan will do <coughs> is he'll say Shema Yisrael out loud and hum the rest of it. And when the, when the Tzibor is finished, he resumes at uh, Hashem Elokein Hashem Echad and keeps going. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because my recollection of the way Chabad and the young do this is that they sing it twice. That is, they sing it when everybody says it. So after Shema Yisrael, the entire Tzibor breaks out into Hu and Elokeinu, Hu Avinu. And then when the Chazan repeats it, they do it over again. Yeah, so, so the first time they say the words, the Chazan says Shema Yisrael and hums the rest. And then when, when it's repeated, the Chazan picks up at Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. So he says the words, and then the, and then the Kahal sings. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so but, but it's he sort of like an interview. So he's, but he starts singing at Hulu Kenu, where he starts singing at Hashem Al Kenu Hashem Echad. Um, you're talking about the, the second time? The Chazaf, right, when he's repeating it. So, so when he says Hashem Al Kenu Hashem Echad, does he say yeah. that with the tune or not? Hashem Al Kenu Hashem Echad. Okay, and then we go, Al Kenu. So as he's singing the rest, then they're, they're, they're okay, they're, great, they're humble. very helpful. Okay, good. So now I know for sure. I would have embarrassed myself because I wouldn't have said Hashem Al Kenu Hashem Echad. But now, next time I go to uh, Chabad Minyan. I'll get my shot of vodka at the end. I will burn it fair and square. Okay. Uh, the other tune that's very easy to do is Aishas Hayat. So you would do Mekomo Hu Yifen, the first part of Aishas Hayat. Mi Mekomo Hu Yifen Be Rachamim Be Yamonam Hamiyat Adim Shimbo Erev Avoker Bechol Now you have some tools in your arsenal, and uh, you'll be able to ace the future. Yes? One tune that I find um, you know, good for kind of all places is Yatsa Bunny. Uh, oh, interesting. So pretty, you know, we may come away. Oh, I bet you Oh, yeah. Okay, you, you do that. Interesting. I guess you could do that, or you can set up come on. It just seems very, very like good. It is. Yes, yeah, people like it. Like it's very popular. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, been highly voted. A lot of likes. Okay, and then uh, we continue after Yimloch, as I said, uh, with Lador Vador, which is going to be in the Nusuf of Mosef. Lador Vador Nati Galecha, Lenaita Vitzahim Jusha Nakish, Vishi Pacha, Elohim, Vilo Mosha Lomwed, Kiamel Kadom, Kadom, Shata Baru, Hakadonai, Hoye, Elakadosh. He got the shabbos, so he took cover of the house. He beats up every chance he drains the hell. Me am gay all along, avoiding follow. To me, I'm kind of a gamma in the barrel. I'm you love a faru. You know what? I just realized I made a mistake. The, the nusuf of Shabbos is actually not that different in terms of its tonality from what we do uh, on Shabbos. Uh, on Shabbos. Although, uh, when you do musuf on Yontif, where you do most of on uh, Shabbos, that is Shabbos Rosh Chodesh, that's where you, or when you do most of on um, Rosh Chodesh, right? You would switch into the Rosh Chodesh tune uh, after Kedusha. So just as an example, uh, we'll I'll go to Rosh Chodesh most of which we're gonna be doing, God willing, tomorrow morning. Um, do you wanna finish this first and then do the Rosh Chodesh one? Oh, for sure. I just wanted to point out how the, okay. the, the tone right. changes yeah. so you can be aware. Um, that is. Okay. So you begin uh, Mosef with the regular uh, chakra sort of like a tune. Baruch Ata Hashem Okeinu Belekev Oseinu Kevra Amakeito Yakeyako But then when you would uh, finish, you would say Lo Hashem Olam Alkar Tiyom Lidor Vador Hallelujah Lidor Vador Nagi Galecha and so on and so forth. Where this is relevant on Shabbos is when it's Shabbos Rosh Chodesh, 
because there you're going to do Ati Yatsarta. And when you do Ati Yatsarta, it's not in the Shabbos tune, but it's in the Rosh Chodesh tune. So, or Yantu tune. So it would go, uh, you would go into the door, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what did I, did I just do Shabbos? I, think you did, I, did. You did. I did, okay, I'm sorry. The way it goes, Right, so we go, Yimbo, Raja, 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 so I wanted to make you aware of this because twice a year we have Shabbos that falls out of Rosh in which case we're not doing the regular Shabbos also, but we're doing Atta Yitzarta, which is done with a completely different tune, and the rest of us have done it with a completely different tune. If you're not familiar with the Rosh Chodesh tune or the Yantif, it's the same as the Yantif, but also, I would recommend you stay away from that Shabbos. Um, and just in general, the Adi Yitzhak is more difficult than a typical Yantif because Yantif, Musaf, you're saying many, many times a year, whereas Adi Yitzhak is essentially twice a year. If you think about it, you know, Musaf, we say every Musaf, which is eight days Pesach, eight days Sukkot, uh, two days Shavuos, and so on. Yes? Well, that's the beginning of the Shemana's right. Yeah. yeah, but that is true. Although, I would highly recommend you stay away from that. Unless <laughs> you're like a, a grand Jedi master in the Cosmic Arts. That's, oh, uh, that's beautiful. I it is beautiful. I heard the original from uh, Kandar Davis. It's great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So back to what? Take out the Shabbos. Take out the Shabbos. You see some cover of style. TV, some neighbor shame. See the rain. It's not that hot. Sabenu 
There's the major and the minor way. 
the major way goes is kadav is kadav shemay rabba biyama di rabba still mi ma kusay bechayko the big one from the whole base Israel I go up is my career mi ruva me yehesh may rabba mevara biyama o meyama ya yispara yispara reach the mark yispara reach the mark yisase I'm not as familiar with that because I I never do it the one that I do is the the minor version which is yeah, uh, 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 I go low these man Korean him or me. Ye hate me up on the barak, the lama me on my yo. Is barak, is the bark, is bark, is your mommy is not say. Be so dark, be so lucky, so all she made a good job, Rifu. They love me, cover for some of your soft, teach for some of them also. Tell me, rub a mommy, grow a maid. He's got a bell, toast on the song, the whole base is real. And the mama won't divish my own in Brua May. Ye hey, Shalom, a rabbi, Mishamai, a Baha'i, a Lenu. Ye are called Israel in Brua May. O say, Shalom, be Brahmad. Who ya say, Shalom, a Lenu. Ye are called Israel in Brua May. Now, at this point, as I mentioned, in many uh, congregations, the rabbi will speak. In many congregations, they have some little whippersnapper replace you. So you'll find out soon if you see some kid, like, tugging at your uh, pant leg. And you know that it's time for him to step up and do his thing. If not, you just go right on along. Um, a very easy way to get people happy and clappy for Enkel Okenu is the Karbach Enkel Okenu, which you may be familiar with. Enkel Okenu, Enkad Okenu, Enkem Okenu, Enkem Oshi Enkem. Otherwise, the more common one is Enkel Okenu, Enkad Okenu, Enkem Okenu, Enkem Oshi Enkem. And you'll you'll quickly have a sense as to whether people do it or not. Uh, it's fairly common in a young Israel type seaboard to do that A Kelo K no A Kelo A no. If you're in a more yeshivish type setting, they'll just uh, read it straight. Um, uh, a nice song, either you do at the end, Lama on a high ray, I am Darren and Shalom Bob. Lama on base, I'm the Noyo, I'm the Bakhto to Bloch. I'm the Noyo, I'm the Noyo, I'm the Noyo, I'm the Noyo, a nice tune that everybody knows is. The man a high be reyoy, the man a high be reyoy, and a brono, and a brono, shalom, and the man be sad, or no yellow, I knew a back shot of love, and the noyos, the ambo eating, I don't know, you were a sambo, and then I'll go sing any night. So again, if you're in the singing mood, that's certainly something you can get away with. Then Kaddish Drabanan, Aleinu, either they sing it or they don't. If they sing the first part, you would end the, the uh, Aleinu with singing. <speaking in Hebrew> Otherwise, in a more Yeshiva setting, or when they're not singing, you'd end it by Now, in many congregations, the medics this do Adam's Miros, and again, you'll know because they'll open up the Aram Kodesh. In a more Yeshiva type setting, they won't do Adam's Miros. Uh, the most common tune for Adam's Miros is Adam's Miros, which we all know and we can do it in our sleep. In fact, we might very well be doing our sleep. The uh, Anim Zmiros that's a little bit different, which is fun and, and people always get into it, is Anim Zmiros Vishi Rivero Ki Evacha Nafshi Tago. And then the Tiba does not Nafshi Hamda Vitea Yadecha La Nafska Rosadena. Me de da Ribifo de Homer Levi Aldo Decha. Al Kina da Ribafani Fathers Rishim Kaha Vishi Rizi. That's a carbon tone, it is. Shaboy, bring up Kate, I'll give the year. 
Following week still available if you would like to do a little bit of uh, Yantov like talking. Like the Shoshans and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Uh, it's been a real pleasure to see you.